What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here, back here for another Tottenham update video for you guys today. We've got quite a bit to get through. A lot of publications talking about Spurs. Every day some new news is coming out. Every day there's a new flavour. Everyone, everyone loves to talk about us. And every day there's a new flavour of the day for the new managers. I mean, mm. um, Spurs Express did a brilliant tweet about it. I don't know if you saw it. No. Uh, <laughs> let me just get another it out. Another day, another, another favourite. No, they were playing on that... Um, that Craig David song, Seven Days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like Conte on a little man. bit of poch on Monday, <laughs> Robertino Martinez on Tuesday. <laughs> anyway, Conte <laughs> on Wednesday, Ten Hag on Thursday, Inzaghi on Friday, Potter on Saturday, and Chill on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I thought that was pretty brilliant. But anyway, let's start off with the first bit of news we've got to bring to you. This is from Jack, Jack Pitbrook of The Athletic, and he says... Joe Chip Anderson has chosen Tottenham, but there is currently no agreement between Spurs and Leon. Obviously, he had a great season for Fulham this year, albeit they went down, but he was a kind of shining light for them, wasn't he? He was, and we've said previously on this channel that we're big fans of Joe Chip Anderson. I was very impressed whenever I saw him play for Fulham, and um, I think he really showed a lot of quality, a lot of leadership, and a lot of quality on the ball as well. He's quite a composed um, figure with a good passing range from centre-back, so hopefully we're better players around. A bit like when we signed Toby, who was very good for Southampton and then when he came to Spurs he kind of took on even a greater level and that's what I hope um, to see from Anderson and hopefully we can get this deal over the line they're saying around 20 million could be the figure um, I reckon we might have to wait though to sell before we can buy so um, which uh, so it could be a long wait before we get him in the door let's just offer Fulham a straight swap Dyer for uh... Dyer oh, it's not down to Fulham the it's Leon bloody hell yeah. um, so let's offer Leon Davison Sanchez then yeah true I'll, I'll give it to them um, but that'll be a good deal, swap deal. But I think it's unlikely uh, for the time being. I think you have to wait till one of our centre backs to leave before we sign another one. I think. Mm. Let's move on. This is straight from the horse's mouth. Jonathan Barnett, who was on Talk Sport, I think it was this morning or last night. I can't. I'm not sure which one it was. But he says. Um, that reports that Gareth Bell is going to retire after the Euros to take up golf is absolutely rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, 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 Look, surprise. He's, Obviously, he's not retiring. He's only 31. Like, maybe if he was like 35, you could I could see it. But look, this guy has got supreme quality. Physically, he's still got so much to give. So I don't think there's any chance he's retiring. Um, and I think he's had a... Look, in terms of his season at Spurs, people say he wants, he wants out the limelight. I think he's been, for, from Spurs fans anyway, I think he's by and large been pretty well received throughout the season and even when things haven't gone right yes there were moments where a lot of fans were frustrated with him but I think you know as the season's ended with 11 Premier League goals by and large he's had a pretty good loan spell fairly good I wouldn't say pretty good fairly good loan spell I suppose so I think a lot of fans are happy with him so I don't think anything like the pressure getting like being too much for him and stuff like that I think that's all rubbish it was always going to be rubbish so hopefully next season he comes back and um, um, has an even better season why is there always such ridiculous rumours about Gareth Bell? I don't Why? know. I don't know what it is with him. I don't know. He just... People like to... Just because he likes golf. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. All these crazy rumours always about Gareth Bell. All these rubbish. People love talking rubbish about him. He's mm -hmm. so disrespected as well. Yeah. Um, but maybe it's because he's on so much money and you know he was at, he was on it's the bench jealousy, in Madrid then, like yeah jealousy. maybe all that kind of stuff plays into it but look the guy's won everything it's a supreme talent and um, I think and there's no chance he's thinking about retirement right now mm. um, all right next one is Correa della Sport from Italy and they say Tottenham are crazy for Antonio Conte and will approach him if he leaves Inter and then it goes on to say Tottenham Hotspur could make a move for Antonio Conte who is unhappy with Inter Milan's plans for next season there was even another Italian publication saying we're close to signing Conte but I don't know which one that was um, a publication called La Stampa that was it said yeah. um, Tottenham have offered Antonio Conte a contract of worth close to 20 million euros a year there you go. I don't know if any of them are reliable or not. Probably not. But look, we know how good Conte is. Conte is a world-class manager. He usually does well straight off the bat as well. Um, he won the season first season. It's the first time round um, at Chelsea. He obviously won the uh, Serie A for in the second season at Inter Milan after getting them back in the Champions League as well. So look, he's a supremely quali supreme quality manager and would be lucky to have him. But... 
if he does come, he will need a lot of money, which all he's always he's always had um, time to build a squad at all the clubs he's had. He's going to need a lot of money, yeah, and he's going to need he's going to need a lot more control. And whether he'll work out on him, a bit like Mourinho, like I just and also he plays quite a defensive brand of football. He plays free at the back counter-attacking style of football um, so whether we would the Spurs fans will take to it and if we got a big this whole big thing about our Spurs DNA and all this kind of stuff I don't know if Conte is a big uh, the right fit but obviously he's a look I'd obviously take Conte Conte's a world-class manager I would personally take him but whether he'd be the right fit for us is another question the way I look at Conte is kind of like the modern day Jose Mourinho where well he's he, never done well in Europe that's the only thing that's true that's true but he always kind of there is an element to him that can fall out with players, that's for sure, Antonio definitely, Conte. Definitely. Uh, very fiery uh, personality, what he's got. Um, I just feel like he's more in tune to the modern game than, um, than Mourinho is. I don't know about that. Maybe. I mean, yeah, obviously he's done well more recently, but I think his methods, he's also very blunt. He can be very forceful with his players. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. Mm. So if these players struggled with Mourinho, I can, I can see the same ones who struggled under Jose, strongly under Conte. But um, obviously he would need a massive rebuild. We all know that. And um, so I don't know. I don't think it's realistic anyway. I don't think he's going to come. I don't think, I think he's probably got bigger fish to fry than Tottenham if he leaves after what season he's had at Inter Milan. Yeah, but, you know, carries on the trend of us taking old Chelsea managers. Yeah, it's worked out well every time, hasn't it? <laughs> Even right from the beginning, you know, Glenn Hoddle used to manage Chelsea. Yeah. Um, Andre Villas-Boas, Jose yeah. Mourinho, I'm sure there were more in there as well. Uh, but look, in terms of Conte, I actually genuinely believe he's going to end up at Real Madrid. I really believe that. I think that Real Madrid will look at some... I mean, if they're going to go for him or Allegri, I think they go for Conte over Allegri. Uh, but let's move on. Goal, a uh, very not reliable publication, have said that Tottenham hold a strong interest in Wilfred Zaha and they will look to pursue a deal this summer, much to your delight, Sim. I love Zaha. I absolutely love Zaha and I think he's a fantastic player. I think well, he would um, be brilliant signing for Tottenham. I really do. I think he can play a hole across the front line. He can play out front and on either wing. And I think he's just, he's been at Palace so long and you've got to remember like how Palace play. It's very, very difficult he let, like everything he does, he has to do by himself. He has to create chances for himself all the time. He's always got three or f- two or three players on him every time he plays. And the fact this season he's got eleven Premier League goals, I think is quite impressive. And yeah, he got a bit of help from Eze this year, though. He got a f- uh, he got a decent amount of help from Eze, but I still think Zaha is a talent which uh, people are um, sleeping on, in my opinion. But. Um, Football London uh, apparently pulled cold water on it anyway, saying that with all the wingers we have at the moment, unless we get a few out of the club, it's unlikely we go for someone like Zaha for the time being, which makes sense. It's likely Lamella's going to leave, though, and, and maybe Lucas Moura could be yeah. out the door as well. Football London saying it's unlikely both leave, apparently. Mm. Uh, more likely either one or the other. But look, if it was up to me, um, I know 40 million is a steep price for Zaha, but I think I really believe with his versatility, what he can bring to the team, I honestly think he'd be well worth it. I think he'd be a quality, top quality signing for us. But um, with him being 28, with him um, costing that much money and with the wingers we currently have, I do think it's unlikely right now unless we get a, a number of players through the door and we get some defensive signing ins first. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's move on. Ali Gold, the Here We Gold, it said Serge Aurier and Moussa Sissoko will probably be leaving Tottenham this summer as Tottenham try and break up the La Mafia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, look, Aurier and Sissoko, I think I've been here for long enough and haven't really been of standard to what we need. I think they, they did a job for a time, but unfortunately right now uh, what we need from them is uh, more than what they can give us. So I think it's definitely time to move both of them on. They're, they both lack quality. They both feel, I also feel like they're both too comfortable at Tottenham mm. as well. And uh, if we can get some money for both of them, then uh, for sure I'd look to move them on and hopefully mm. we can. Yeah, I mean, I think they're definitely two players that we should be definitely be looking to move on this summer. Uh, the Telegraph out in Holland, quite reliable. They say Steven Bergwijn is set to miss out on the Holland squad for the Euros, which, you know, he will not be happy about yeah. that. And, you know, he's been in pretty much every squad this year, yeah. even when he's been out the team, in the team. So that's quite a surprising one. Yeah, poor guy um, who's had a really tough season now. And that, that would be a, probably another knock to his confidence. But hopefully he uses it as a springboard to spur him on next season and look at the World Cup because it's not that far away, the World Cup. And maybe he'll think, look, yes, I missed out on the Euros. But if I 
you know, keep plugging away, keep my head down and keep working hard. Oh, you got to think about that World Cup and getting in that squad because I think there is a space for him. He's just had, to, unfortunately, only one goal this season is not enough uh, for, to, to, for, for the Holland team, uh, especially to be taking a punt on him. You never know when, if there's an injury, he might get lucky and force his way in it. But at the moment, I feel bad for him, but you can understand why they're not taking him. Mm. And like next one and the last one is from Lequip and they say Tottenham are interested in a summer move for Lil right back Zeki Chelig. Obviously, we were heavily linked with him last summer, and I think we opted to go for Matt Doherty instead. Yeah. Um, would you? Would that? Would this be an exciting one for you? Not an exciting one, but the, pro- the thing is, he would have been great. He another one who's like I think he's a good player, and he's clearly proved this season with Lil that he's had a very good season with uh, with Lil, and he and he's a good right, he's a good solid right back. But again, like if we're going into season with him and Matt Doherty is our two, which is likely seeing as Aurier is leaving, and I I don't think we'll get a buy for Doherty. Uh, going into them, it doesn't tell him, doesn't scream like top quality right back options. Yeah. But if we had Chelik and another one, I'd be happy with that. But Chelik and Do- Chelik and Doherty is just a bit average. Would you ha- be happy with like a Chelik and Aaron's? Yeah. That could be one because I mean Definitely. Aaron's. How much do you reckon he'll cost? Je- Zeki Chelik. I mean, he was linked with us last last summer for fifteen. So yeah. surely he's a bit cheaper now. I always had a better season, so maybe his yeah, price has gone up. But, but then again, they have money year, troubles. Yeah, they got, money. first of all, they got money troubles, and that's one year less than his contract. As yeah, well. I, don't, I don't know how many years he's got left, to be honest. But uh, he is a solid right back to be fair, Zeki Chelik. If we if we had him plus another one, I think that's good. And I think I guess it is a good start to get him in. But it's all about if we were able to sh- shift Doherty or not. I just I. Uh, if something tells me, I just think Doherty's not going anywhere this summer. Mm. I don't think he's moving. I really, really hope you're wrong. I know, that. but look, unless we find a buyer for him, and with three years left on his deal, we signed him for 15 million, we might just... Think we, I, th- I reckon it's more likely the Tottenham hierarchy thing, look, we'll give him another year. I think that's more likely. Mm. Maybe, but we'll see what happens. I, I think we are going to get rid of him this summer, but I hope, I hope I'm right. Uh, but let's uh, yeah that is it that is your Tottenham update for today let me know in the comment section below if you have any thoughts regarding any of the matters we spoke about today like subscribe and comment and as always come come on on you Spurs. Spurs